to talk about something today uh, that's happening on Facebook and Twitter. People are falling for fake news stories. I don't know if this has happened to you. Um, th th this is crazy, though. Here's an article from last week. It's a joke from The Onion, which is a satire site. And uh, people saw it. It says, SeaWorld employees place orcas in plastic bags of water while cleaning tanks. <laughs> You know, you think that someone who saw this would know it's fake, but you would be wrong. Here's a tweet. Here's one of the tweets. How do you place orcas in a big plastic bag of water like that? <laughs> well, you Photoshop it is how you do it. I mean, l seriously, let's think this through, OK? Let's just use some common sense. First of all, I, th I think, because I it's, use the, the plastic bags, and I think the quart size is the biggest they make, maybe a gallon, <laughs> I don't know. The largest, I, I know the boxes are like that, OK? So that's the biggest I've seen. Let's just say they make them that big, OK? You'd have to scoop the whale up in some kind of <laughs> net that would be really heavy to hold, right? You'd have to really have a hard time getting the whale in the plastic bag, OK? Then the whale's in the plastic bag, and then you'd get a rubber band the size of, I don't know what. Where, <laughs> where do you buy a rubber band that big, OK? So then you get like a fire truck, a ladder to go to, on the top. But you can't do it by yourself. You'd need four people to grab the ends of the rubber band to <laughs> tie it around. That's just one whale. And then you've got the other whale, you know? Anyway, that's that one. So then the problem is stories like this go viral because one person falls for it and then posts it, and then another person falls for it and they post it, and then another person falls for it and they post it, and then I have to do a monologue about it. <laughs> but like if someone at home is watching and they have the mute button on and they saw the whale in the bag, they're going to say, hey, there's whales in, pl paper, in plastic bags, and I saw it on Ellen. Now I'm the bad guy. You know? <laughs> Here's another fake story that gets circulated a lot. This is a uh, people that they say people die. Actress Betty White, 93, dies peacefully in a Los Angeles home. And it, not only is it fake, it's about dyeing her hair. That's what the article was about. <laughs> Here's a clue that it was fake. You look who the author is right here. Look closely. Bob the Empire News Potato. <laughs> So whoever is falling for these articles needs a better BS detector. And that sounds for boga. It's bogus story. It, it's a daytime show for all you kids. First, if you believe something, uh, it, just check a website. You know, there's websites that verify things like that. If it's a CNN website, it's probably real. If the website is this is not real at fakemadeupgarbage.com, don't believe it. Secondly, there are fact-checking. Fact you can just check, check things out. And thirdly, if the, it says Portia and I are pregnant, it is, it's not. <laughs> Fake. Right now, I'll tell you something that is absolutely true, and you can believe this. We are all going to dance.